This video is intended to be a guideline for proper installation techniques using Tarcat products. For complete details, refer to the complete Linowall installation instructions. All products must be stored in an indoor, climate-controlled space. Rolls must be stored and secured vertically, tightly rolled face-out on an appropriate sturdy cardboard tube. Do not lay rolls on their side or leave them on a pallet. Tarcat products must be site-conditioned for 48 hours prior to, during, and after installation. All walls must be permanently dry, clean, smooth, and structurally sound prior to installation. They must be free of all dust, paint, or any other foreign material which could affect the installation and adhesive bond. Begin by measuring the desired height that the lino wall will cover and mark with a pencil. Make marks at each corner or door casing on all wall surfaces to be covered with the lino wall. Install rolls in sequential order following the roll numbers printed on the roll label. The last three digits of the batch number will indicate the roll number. Rolls can be installed vertically or horizontally to minimize seams. Measure your wall to determine what size of lino wall you will need to cut. Always cut pieces to length, allowing approximately 3 inches of excess for trimming. Transfer measurements to the lino wall. Cut the lino wall using a T-square and sharp utility knife. Be sure to mark the top of your material to keep all pieces oriented in the correct direction. Apply Tarcat 965 flooring and tread adhesive onto the wall surface following all label instructions. Be sure to spread adhesive onto any flange of your desired top trim material. Here we are using Tarcat's Cove Cap in a coordinating color. Allow the adhesive to flash long enough to allow the adhesive ridges to transfer to your finger after a light touch. Then install the material into wet adhesive. Install the sheet, being sure to align material as a net fit with any door casings or inside corners. Roll the material in both directions with a three-section hand roller to ensure adhesive bond. Use a small hand roller in areas that cannot be reached with a three-section hand roller. Tuck the lino wall material into any trim at the top of the installation. When using a vinyl cove cap, it may be helpful to use the handle of a spoon which is rounded and not sharp, to lift the lip of the cap and aid in the tucking process. Use a small hand roller at the top of the lino wall to ensure bond at any trim pieces or flanges with your selected trim material. Scribe the material to any flash code flooring to ensure a net fit. For inside corners, install the Tarcat SCC-B Profile Cove Cap. Apply Tarcat 946 Premium Contact Adhesive to the Cove Cap and the wall surface according to the label instructions. Use a scrap piece of the Cove Cap to measure where to apply the 946 adhesive to the wall surface. Be careful not to over-apply the 946 adhesive into the field where the lino wall will be installed. Roll the cove cap with a hand roller to ensure a bond. After spreading additional Tarcat 965 flooring and tread adhesive, net fit the remaining lino wall material into the cove cap. For outside corners, ensure that lino wall material terminates no more than 1 8 inch from the outside corner of the wall. Install Tarcat VBG Corner Guard using 946 Premium Contact Adhesive, according to the label instructions. Use a scrap of the VBG material to mark the area that 946 adhesive should be applied. This marked area shall then be lightly sanded to ensure a proper bond. By following the printed installation instructions and using the techniques demonstrated in this video, installations can be performed safely, efficiently, and professionally every time. 
Visit TarketNA.com for the most current installation and maintenance instructions.